if you believe in the law being more than just a trade, I think you should find your way to the law clinic. My experience has been eye-opening, phenomenal, inspiring, insightful, spontaneous, motivational, impactful, has been intriguing, fulfilling. The aim of this caravan is twofold. We are offering constitutional rights training to the local communities. Um, we've translated the Bill of Rights into Swahili and then we are giving them a training using the local Ma language on issues like what are the elements of um, training of, of the Bill of Rights, uh, what are the kind of uh, rights violations that may occur, how can this seek redress, both here in Samburu County and in Laikipia County. It's been a wonderful week uh, traveling here with uh, 30 students and 10 advocates. Um, to be sincere, I didn't think it was going to be this wonderful, but I believe it's been a wonderful experience for me just learning from the community, seeing what problems they have, and then seeing our students trying as much as they can under the supervision of the advocates to find solutions. The format of the training was this. We started with a human rights training and we focused on the Bill of Rights Chapter 4 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and we explained it to the locals uh, in the local dialect that is the Samburu or Maasai language we can call it the Ma language and thereafter we conducted the legal aid part of it where we um, took uh, cases we did a uh, uh, a one-on-one -on -one with members of the community and we'd listen to their matters and their legal questions. Uh, then we'd advise from there. So we took note of the cases, um, then uh, other steps will follow later. The caravan has been life-changing because um, I have been awakened to the need of marginalized groups because they don't access the law in a way that is expected. Um, some of them don't know about the law, they don't know about the reliefs that they have. So some of them have been oppressed for a very long time without any hope. So I think I have been awakened to that need and I'm hoping that even as I grow into a lawyer, I'll be able to do something about it. The impact of uh, participating in the caravan at least for the community, has been that a lot of people have learned more about their rights and they've been made more aware of uh, the relevant resources uh, or institutions to reach out to whenever some specific rights are curtailed. kiwa hapa tunakuanga na shida mingi sana tumepitia mengi na hatukukua hata tunajua kama tunaweza pata solution ama tunaweza pata uzaidisi lakini from now tumeona kama yani at least tumeona mwanga kwa sababu tumeeleswa kuna human right tumesomeshwa katiba tume at least tume tumeerefuka kiasi and i want to thank this legal aid caravan kwa sababu they have done marvelous for us and our people has been uh, highlighted their rights and uh, we have also seen that they, they can take us somewhere even to petition the, the government, the, the assembly, peace committees uh, so that 
they can actually get an ear for us because the conflict around here in this Malaso Valley is dearly causing lives. People have, uh, have a lesson of uh, constitutional rights about human rights. Uh, and I think they were now good. They know how to, to handle their cases for any event. What we foresee is that apart from uh, going to Samburu and Laikipia this week, we may return, we hope to return actually to these same counties, but also extend to counties like Marsabit and Isiolo and Turkana, because um, working with impact will enable us to reach those communities. I look forward to implementation and follow-up, especially of the cases we've taken up. So we consider this a screening exercise for some of the cases that could be taken up either for litigation, could be mostly public interest litigation because of some of the community land disputes that we have and um, uh, conflict we have with communities living here. And also we look forward to helping communities resolve disputes using alternative dispute resolution methods as well as alternative justice systems which are very much embedded in African culture. So for us, it's just following up on this to ensure that the work we have done is not lost and hopefully coming back here in a year or two to assess the impact, at least from the lenses of implementation. So as you would have seen in the program that we have um, created in collaboration with uh, Strathmore, the essence of the of the of the manual is that it doesn't only provide them with the contextual meanings of the constitution it goes further and it creates a avenue in which where the people can actually go to to find assistance so that's what the experience and the impact that the certain training has on the communities i've always wanted to give back to the society because many members of the society view uh, lawyers as people who are inaccessible or rather you'll need quite uh, a sum of money to access one and maintain having a relationship with one. So I thought this will be best for me to debunk that, uh, to try and show these people that lawyers are readily available, they are not uh, as expensive, which means justice is accessible to them. And there are also other avenues that our judiciary and uh, other partners such as the Dispute Resolution Hub and Pro Bono Institute, who are trying to provide uh, lawyers who can offer services to these people uh, at a subsidized rate or even at, in certain instances for free. I have been able to learn from my own experience, and I have been able to learn from my own experience. I have been able to learn from my own experience, and I have been able to learn from my own experience. I have been able to learn from my own experience, and I have been able to learn from my tukapata fursa pia kuambia sheria na 80 na ipi inapaswa kuzingatiwa na kama kuna changamoto ni njia gani unaweza kutumia ili kuweza kutatua kwa hivyo kwangu mimi imekuwa kifungua macho na pia fursa ya kurejesha shukrani kwa jamii I believe we've actually done the first historic and uh, human rights and constitutional and human rights training and also the legal aid that has never happened in the Ma dialect and in the Samburu dialect and uh, from as Impact Kenya, we really appreciate and uh, the community has actually learned a lot and I, hopefully they are going to use all the information to their benefit. Thank you very much because we have been here and now we have been here for a SLC is a wonderful opportunity for any law student. And this gives you an opportunity to interact with the law in action. I mean, look, uh, students have been here uh, for the whole week. I know it's their break um, and all, but they have here, they have been here, they have learned from the community. They know what problems the communities are going through. And I believe this provides a wonderful platform for students to learn the law outside of the library, outside of the four, one, four corners of a classroom and outside of, you know, the theoretical learning of the law. They get to experience the law in action. I would want to thank uh, the Pro Bono Institute of Kenya, PBIK, they graciously provided five advocates who left everything that they're supposed to be doing. And I just want to say a big thank you to all these advocates that have stayed with us, mentored our students, and helped our students advise and you know, be part of this legal aid. Secondly, the Impact Trust of Kenya. 
they have always been a wonderful partner they have connected us to the community they have told us where the problems are they secured all the venues and uh, they also graciously funded a part of the budget so i want to say a big thank you to them and of course the stellenbosch law clinic for funding the constitutional rights training this has been of great help because every person that attended the training has a a manual that they can always refer to and this i believe is going to go a long way just the feedback we got from the community it's been wonderful